Hello, welcome to Clark's on the Budget. Today we're going to be reviewing my week four transactions and to see if I'm on track or over budget. So let's get into it. Let's first review the month so of June. My week four is from June 17th to June 23rd. So that's my week four. We did have one no spend day, which it was on Monday the 20th. But every other day we had, we spent something. So, let's see what that means for the budget. <laughs> Was it good or bad spending? Let's see. Okay. I'm trying to get used to this new setup. Okay, so the very first category that we're going to be reviewing is food. We had a hundred and ninety dollars and one cent left in our budget. Here we go. <laughs> Truth comes out. <laughs> we spent a hundred and eighty-five dollars and two cents in groceries this week. Hundred and ninety oh one minus hundred eighty five oh two means we are still left with four dollars and ninety nine cents left in our budget for food. To be honest, it was just a crazy week. I'm kinda got off track of using the cash that was in my wallet. Vince is using my debit card, so I had to replenish my debit card account with the money I spent from my envelopes. That was supposed to meant come on my envelopes. So, I kind of lost track a little bit a few days, so that's the reason why this is up there. When we went to my mom's house for uh, Father's Day dinner, we stopped the DG and got pop for us, and then we um, went driving Saturday just to enjoy the pretty day, but instead of getting uh, spending eating out money we went to Walmart and got us a loaf of bread and some lunch meat and some chips and some snacks to take with us and so when we got hungry we just put over fix us a sandwich and kept on trucking because <laughs> it was like 70s degrees and wind was blowing it was so nice and I got a little bit red from it <laughs> it's starting to go down uh, I don't tan I just get more freckles so I'm hoping one of these, these days they'll connect and I'll maybe get tan <laughs> okay gas now we already knew on gas that was going to go over a budget because we had $26 left in gas we spent a hundred and ten dollars and twenty-five cents which is better than last week on gas and better on the week before so that is our improvement even though we went over budget so since we're gonna go over budget let me get another I don't know let me get my red ink pen here. So we're just going to subtract a hundred and ten, hundred ten twenty-five minus twenty-six. Oh, 
means that we are $84.25 in the negative, so uh, our spent in gas. So this tells me that when I do my monthly budget come in July, because each month is keep, even though it's hard as we try, it keeps spending over a budget. So we're going to have to raise it up a little bit. Just so that we can keep from going in the negative. Okay, so eating out. We have tried not to eat out so much. Uh, we had $63.43 left in our budget. Okay, you can play with that. <laughs> Just don't get mommy's way or lose it. Okay, 63.43. We spent $43.29. So, $63.43 minus $43.29 means we still have $20.14 to go on our budget for eating out. Personal, I think we had $10 left. We did. So $10. Still nothing personal so we still at ten dollars for hit so let's have see how much we spent this week 185.02 plus 110.25 plus 43.29 300 56 cents. So we did spend more than we did last week, but less than we did on the second week. And this week was a payday week, too. So we are working on on the week of the paydays to get this amount. <laughs> get this amount not so high on, on weeks that we get paid. Okay. So that's got that part done. And since the next next week is payday, that means we need to pick our envelopes for our envelopes challenge that we're going to stuff. So let me pull it out here. I should have already done this, but you know how I am. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to move you, little girl. I'm sorry. See, bye to the folks. Let's go to the part. Let's see where we at. All right, so well, here we are. Okay, so these are the ones that we have it and stuff. Okay, that one feel like it had something in it. So I double check. <laughs> okay, set that there. So let's roll the dice to see which one we're going to pull for us. So remember if, it's this, if it lands on the six, we'll do it again. One. So let's find a one. So there's my one and we'll do one more because we always at least do two. Well, that was a no-go. Ah, first three. We haven't filled a three yet. So let's see right here. Okay, so there we go. So there we are. So this means that we're going to be stuffing four dollars with my Nick paycheck for the envelope challenge. So, okay, yeah. it's time to do a little confession. Are you ready? I'm trying to be as honest 
as I can. This, I want to be transparent with you guys about what's going on in my life. Well, I kind of fell down a rabbit hole. <laughs> Um, to give you a little bit of backstory, I had thought maybe I could use my horizontal for the remainder of the year for my catch-all planner. But after using it, I just decided it's, it's just not working for me. Well, I already had gave my big catch-all uh, vertical to my sister-in-law because she uses the catch-all the, the big vertical, uh, the big for her rating log, and that gave her a few more months for her log. So, here's what happened. As you know, a couple of weeks ago, Tiffany purchased a planner from Erin Condren because she needed one for school and she thought that that would help her. So, she had enough money in her envelope to cover her planner. But what I done is I done a pay forward. So in July's budget, you will see that I did add a pay a pay forward from PayPal. So you will see that back in my budget. Now I purchased this monthly. This is one thing I purchased, okay, from Erin Cundlin, Erin Cundren. It's the monthly, and the reason, one reason I got the monthly is because it's easy to redate. You just put something here and redate it here, and then you have all these pages. So I ordered this first. Well, after I realized that the horizontal is not going to work for me, I was like, what am I going to do? I gave my catch y'all. Here I go back to Erin Cundren. <laughs> I purchased a I think it's a life planner vertical week, weekly vertical it's color blend vertical bundle kit. And I was able to get it. It was on sale. And it starts in July. I said, okay, I can do that. Well, instead of paying cash for it, I put it on PayPal Forward again. PayPal Forward, Afterpay, and Karna is my weakness. <laughs> because $20 here. It's easier to pay every two weeks than $70 or $80 up front. So yeah, I have this one, which I'm going to be using with my little uh, budget book from Erin Carter, which I'll leave a link up here if you want to see the review for this when we get ready to start this. Because remember, we're going to be using my notebook for the next couple months and then after that we can use this together and then I got the pl other planner coming too so yeah I kind of went down a rabbit hole <laughs> pretty good rabbit hole but I mean I'm I'm happy with it I like that you can customize your covers and the removable so I put Mandy there I wanted to get thought about putting the um, channel name on it, but I was afraid it wouldn't fit. So, yeah. If you would like to see a review of this one, please let me know below, and I'll do a review for it. Um, it's the August to August to August, I think. Yeah. So, it's a good twelve months in there. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, here we go. Our son confession. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. How are you doing on your budget?
Did you find? Uh, did you fall down any more rabbit holes like I did? <laughs> um, but starting in July, I will be doing a no spin challenge along with, um, I believe her name is Money and Nails. I'll leave her channel link below. She's starting it, and I said, as me and her was talking, I said, well, I'm thinking about doing it too and she said well let's do it together so here we are we're going to try to do it together <laughs> so help me keep the cannibal and I'll help you just let me know what you need help with <laughs> alright folks I kept you long enough I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you're new here please take a look around if you like what you see please consider subscribing and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much, as always, for be being here, being a part of this my budgeting family and the community here. If you'd like to see more budgeting videos like this, please check out these videos listed either here or over here, depending on what device you're looking at. And we'll see you next time. Bye.